It's still TMI Monday. We go straight to our first discussion, which is on Nigeria's unity and stability and the challenge of ethnic agitation. Well, I have with me in the studio, comrade Austin Osakwe. We also have Dr. Pedro Obasaki, a veteran broadcaster, a, a lecturer, a teacher, the convener of the Midwestern Movement. I'd like to thank you very much, Dr. Don Pedro Obasaki, for joining us on the show this morning. Uh, good morning, Sonny. Dr. Pedro Obasaki, um, you have convened the Midwestern Movement. Some say all of these agitations are elitist. Uh, it's just people who are probably trying to have a go at the national cake. Uh, well, is there a national cake? Maybe it's a national chin chin. <laughs> you know, uh, be that as it may, anybody who does not see the existential na nature of the threat that the nation faces now is playing ostrich. Um, we in the Midwest movement is a, is a pan Edo Delta non partisan platform made up of persons who are major players in both parties, made up of people who are professionals, people who are academicians, people who are retired army generals, uh, young people. Increasingly, we are getting tremendous, humongous attention from the youth segment of the polity. The Midwest territorial area is the most maligned in this clamor for ethnic nationalism. Most maligned in the sense that it is a pity that history has been unfair to us. We are the only part of Nigeria that was duly and constitutionally created. The 1960, 1963, 1979, and the 1999, which are the four functional constitutions we've had as a nation, made it clear that before you can delineate or create any federating unit, you must have a referendum. Only the Midwest, or the present areas of Edo and Delta, that was created via a referendum or a plebiscite on the 13th of July, 1963, where 89.01% of the people who live in these 12 tribes, from Akoko Edo to Patani, all voted 89.01 percent yes to be created every other state created in nigeria or even the three original regions that were created at independence we are done by fiat they were legislated away by a band of persons sitting in their parlor we don't even know whether they drink paraga and they just created states and much later at the nick of the nigerian civil war in july 1967 go on by fiat broke the country into 12 states so the midwest that used to be one out of four regions became one out of 12. now we became one over 19 by the fiat of general ramat mohitala ramat muhammad we, he just changed the name which was also illegally done and changed it from midwest to bender which was an aggregation of billy delta and in 1987 <coughs> It was changed to 21 states by Babangida. We became one over 21. Until 1991, when Babangida split it into 30 states. We became one over 15. Abacha split it into 36 states and created, and then we have two states, which is two over 36, which is equal to one over 18. So we are actually the most maligned part of this country. In 1966, January 14, that is just the day before the, the coup, the northern region was one entity. The Midwest was one entity, and by the fiat of today, there are 19 states in the north. Kano, as at that time, had three divisions, Dutse, Hadeja, and Kano. We had 14 divisions. Today, Edo and Delta combined is 39 local government areas. So why Kano State has been split into Kano and Jigawa, and together they are great 76 I mean, 73 local government areas. So the, the degree of marginalization, the degree of encroaching on the very psyche of the Edo and Delta nation cannot be wished away. So what we had decided to do, why we formed the Midwest movement was they were right drawing their maps all over the place. Biafra drew their map and ended at Ufosu. Oduduwa drew their map and ended at Okpanam, Anasaba, Anila. And we say, oh, oh, hold, oh, hold on, hey, wait a minute. The heroes past of this same place had fought assiduously from the formation of the original Midwest movement in 1951. Now we are, you are taking us back there. Meanwhile, everybody must know that when a war breaks out, if it does break out, may it not happen. Amen. Because war has no pretty face. War fine only for television. But if it happens, the Edo and Delta peoples are at the very epicenter, the nexus. Why, the why, is that, why is that so? Because you cannot traverse from the south-south 
to the north. You cannot traverse from the east to the west. You cannot traverse from the west to the north of Nigeria without passing through a territory of the old Bendel or the Midwest. And in 1967, while that war broke out, less than two months after the war broke out, in August 1967, they flooded Edo, Edo and Delta State in 24 hours. In 24 hours, Major Banjo was at Dennis Osadebi Avenue. And it is, reputed, it is reported then that David Ejo, who was then the military governor of, 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 of Midway State, had to run out of Benin on a bicycle. But what we, why we formed the Midwest movement is to make them understand that this is not 1967. Okay, let, 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 me, let me pause you there. Okay, exactly what I was coming to with uh, Dr. Pedro Basiki. <laughs> uh, people have also talked about uh, devolution of power as a model to addressing... Uh, said, I, I have a, a very specific, but not diametrically opposed, but a very specific. When you say restructure, restructure, what does that mean? It's just changing. So what are you changing to? What is the models? What is the status quo that you want to change from? from. Restructure is to make a, an entity take another form. But that is not what I think we should do. We think that there should be a refederalization. Because the problem is the dismantling of the federal arrangement that was done by men who had heads. That were done when men were men, to use that cliche, and women were won by those who deserve them. In nine, from the 1948 constitution of, 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 of the, Richards, the Richards constitution, through the Manufacturing constitution, through the Independence constitution, Nigerians sat at tables. So if you were an Ishakiri man, you are sure that there is a suppressed. So there was a conference of nations sitting on tables to negotiate. He, he used the word. He said we shouldn't negotiate out of fear, but we should not fear negotiate. To, ne to yeah. negotiate. Yeah. And so there was a reasonable agreement. And the consideration was simple. It is called the 50 30 20. The 50 30 20, all Nigerians must know today, is the original federal arrangement where the constituent region or the federating unit holds on to 50% of the total resources, earnings, accruables coming from it, both internally generated and other sources of revenue, including the natural resources. And then 30% is put in a federation account. Then 20% goes to the federal government. Now, when a federal government collects 20 from 36, it still remains a huge behemoth. Meanwhile, that state, that is why Bermudia would have been able to build three stadia in the old Midwest at almost one at the same time, building Obey Stadium and building, building Warri Stadium and building as a stadium at one at the same time because the resources thus we are, we are available now in the constitution from 1979 to 1999 there is absolutely no mention of that arrangement in his last word he said a return to fiscal federalism federalism is a fiscal affair is a financial affair then that 30% that is put in the federation account is now redistributed among all the federating units according to demography, according to population. That is how it is done. Nigeria is a skewed federalism and a federalism that exists only on the face of the paper the constitution is printed on. Nigeria is a unitary system of government that parades itself as a pseudo-federalism. There needs to be a structural dismantling of the Nigerian Federation as it is presently constituted. Anybody who says anything opposite of that is, only, is not only playing the ostrich, but it's also very, very, very economical with the truth. That is where we must go. A re-federation, a return to the pre-1966 junketing moves of all the military boys. So, but those set of people whom we had such skewed ideas over, sat and over time between 1966 and then first 1979 and later from 1983 to 1999 dismantled the very fabric upon which this nation was built i'm talking about the physical federalism that they dismantled so today they give us 30 percent derivation derivation for what it is like stealing a man's property and then allowing him to peep at that property through the window that is what it is so number two 
when you bacchanize the country, I remember when they were fighting for state creation, Obafemi Awolo was said, once you start creating states until my village Ikene becomes a state, we won't stop. So what we have now are states that are totally unviable. States that are beggar states. Is it that akin to all of these ethnic agitations that you're finding? No, because... Yes. Is it that akin to it? No, it, it the creation is, of states or the agitation for states? Is yes, it there is a structural to, def, defect ab initio. Because people agitate for those things as a result of the perception of marginalization. Let me give you an example of this Midwest. The Beninese and the Robos were the majority in that entity. But there was a fine arrangement that did not destruct or disrupt the, the cosmic balance of the Midwest of Bendel by acceding to the Anioma, to a man from Oshimili, Dennis Chukude Osadebe, as prime minister, as premier, as the executive officer of the state. But it was from a minority. And the deputy was John Ekre Otobo from Isoko, another minority. When we came back in 1979, Today, the ASEAN nation makes up 16 to 17 percent of a do state. So, in a larger state like Bendel, it was actually less than 7.8. But we considered the governorship to the ASEAN nation. In Ambruzali, his deputy was Demas Akpore. Why the speaker was not Isuko Irobo Binio? The speaker was from a minority of a minority in Basin, Alebe, from 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 Ola. What did that show you? That in the, in the relationship between all these factors, they are built in a within the superstructure, a mechanism that ensured the defense of minority rights. That is what is wrong with the Nigerian Federation. A system that is built whereby those who produce the wealth of the nation must become beggars okay. so as to continue to knock and kneel at the seat of those who are legislating away their future. Okay. That is where the problem is. A structural, there must be a structural dismantling so that we can sit together and return to the real federal arrangement which was truncated on the early hours of the 15th of January 1966. Wait for the house to fall before you call the fire brigade. Okay. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, I think the house has fallen. <laughs> you are just, I hope it you know, when I say the house has fallen, I mean, I say, I say figuratively. Okay. You know, because um, a nation is a state of mind. A nation. Nigeria is a country. My passing short is actually to people from Edo and Delta. The reason is he spoke about leadership. Our leaders should not remain a band who will go to Abuja, collect a tear rubber, Ghana must go, and come back to speak and dispense 1,000 naira to our people. Those days are gone. And that is why people like, I'm not scared. People like us are here now. We are going to knock on every door, on every floor, and talk to every face in every place. I'm happy that people like Austin are also in this polity who are so passionate because the, the power is in the passion. It is for the donation and the Delta peoples to know that unless we speak up as one over four, we will be forgotten on the dung heap of yesterday. Okay. And that is finally, sorry, sir. Yeah. You know, we've been talking about South, 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 East, yeah. North, East. Number two, South, 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 East, South, West are not constitutional arrangements. They were the mere mentioning of Alex Ekweme to create a political arrangement for the interaction between all the federated units because there were too many. Yeah. Number three, the immediate past president was born an Easterner. Jonathan was born in the Eastern region. The Midwest region is still out there like a kid naked. And finally, when Nigeria stopped its real federalism, the Edo and Delta peoples were negotiating and interfacing with Nigeria as one over four. If we remain that way, we cannot go anywhere negotiating as two over 36. Thank, Thank you. you, gentlemen, for the thoughts that...